What's going on guys, this is Chris, and uh, today I have sort of a tutorial for you. Um, what you see in front of you is Photoshop CS6 Extended. Now I had a friend of mine, um, Robert Extreme, I'm sure you guys know, I've mentioned him multiple times on my channel, um, asked me to do, a, or I, I kind of offered, I should say, to do a channel layout for him. Um, and I figured that this would be a pretty good opportunity to do like a lesson quickly on how I go about doing a channel layout and how you can go about doing a channel layout. So you can see I've gone ahead and I've preset some of the, the pixel dimensions for the YouTube layouts and you can actually find those all over the internet. Um, you know, this will be like the main bar where it'll say your channel, your icon will be like right here, and over here will be like your sub count, your view, you know, view count, that sort of thing. Um, now up and down the sides here for non-YouTube partners or non-partnered um, channels is where you'd put your name and your information and stuff. For a partnered channel there's a different template where up here above it you would have your channel branding banner. But we're gonna jump right into this. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to create a new layer and the new layer is gonna go underneath. So we hide the background. This right here means it, it'll indicate layer visibility, so we want to keep that one off for the background. Uh, I know that it's in Windows Basic, thank you. Um, so we want this transparent layer here. And the black layer, which is our, you know, our baseline, we're going to go ahead and erase that whole thing. So uh, what we're going to do is go to the black layer and we're going to erase this so that it's all transparent. Now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to outline where we're going to have the actual channel information. So we're going to do a gradient and we're gonna put that gradient within the bounds of where his actual YouTube line is going to be which is like this um, so we can go to over to the gradient here and we can choose a gradient it doesn't really matter what you choose I'm gonna do a, a black to a gray and we're gonna just progress it down until it's nice and dark uh, bring the opacity up a little bit you know maybe go like that okay yeah so that's that's darker than it even needed to be so let's go back and just do it once so that's pretty good. And we're going to deselect it. So that'll be where his YouTube information goes in the middle. Now on the sides is where it gets a little bit more interesting because on the sides you can do pretty much whatever you would like. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and take an image. I'm going to go new, clipboard, um, and I'm going to paste an image that I just pre-saved. Now this is going to not necessarily be the background, but it's going to be like the design for the background, and I'll show you how we're going to do that in a second. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this image here, and I'm going to adjust it to black and white, and that will give me the, the baseline for any color that I'd like to use. So if I black and white that image, I control A for select all, and then control C for copy come back over here to our transparent layer um, and choose a color so let's say I want to do a color gradient of three colors and I want the color gradient to go from blue to yellow actually let's just stick with like the blues so like a blue to a dark blue and let's go into sort of like a really bluey green almost so that sort of color gradient okay and then you have to select which option you'd like so you can have it running from top to bottom so you can go in the background here and it will bring the gradients on the sides of your um, your channel or you can do it from right to left and it will fade, fade you know in that direction which is cool if you have a channel that does multiple things because then you can have let's say Call of Duty em emblems and stuff on this side and you can have Minecraft emblems and such on that side uh, but we're just going to undo that. Um, YouTube channel layouts need something that they can fade to. Um, and so I always tend to have mine fade into blackness. Um, so I'm just make sure that it goes straight down. I'm going to go ahead and do like that. Um, so that'll be the layout for his channel. And now what we can do is go to the transparent layer. And uh, we're going to actually bring that above and we're going to paste that image that we had and we're going to adjust the image so that it fills up the screen right like 
that. So we get a little bit of that glassy effect over here on that side. Um, and then we're going to change the blending mode. And what the blending mode does is it gives you different options of how you want that image to be overlaid onto what's beneath it. So if we hide that layer, you'll notice, actually let me apply the transformation, um, you'll notice that this is what we have right underneath it. So we plop this down on top of it and we can choose different methods for this to land on top. So if we scroll down you can see there's all sorts of different ways that you can have that fade into what's underneath it. Um, but for the general purpose of doing a YouTube layout, we're going to go ahead and use overlay, which is the pretty much the easiest one to deal with when you're working in YouTube um, standards. Uh, so the next thing is adding text. So what you're going to do when you want to add text up and down the sidebars here is you're going to go to a great website, which is cooltext.com. You'll see that I've brought it up over here. And you're going to select any text that you would like. Um, so for the purpose of the video, I'm just going to do a simple one. Let's go with something like this. And we're going to type in Robert X Trim. And then we're going to bring the text size up. So let's say 120. That seems suitable. Um, and then you get to choose the, uh, the color for the text. So let's, for the purpose of this one, we're going to want to make it a lighter color. Um, and so we're going to do like a gray. You can go anywhere from like white to black, but you don't want it to overlay in a color. That's the one thing. It has to be some sort of gray scale if you're going to do overlays. So let's, let's stick with like a grayish color. And you're going to let that load real quick. Um, so we're going to load PNG with transparency. And we're going to create logo. So you're going to take that right there and you're going to copy that image. Now when you come back into Photoshop, you're going to open a new and it's going to automatically do it this to the size of your clipboard. And you paste it right in there. Um, so you come to your magic wand tool and you're going to select and then select similar. So it gets all the black and then hit delete so that everything that's not the letters is transparent right so there's the black and uh, if you go ahead and select all or select similar to what you selected and then hit delete it will uh, give you just the letters which will be transparent so you'll see I hope that shows up on the video at least because I'm uh, I have a pretty big computer screen so then we're gonna go ahead and collect um, everything in one big uh, banner and copy that again we're gonna come back over to where we want it and we're gonna paste it um, so the next thing we need to do is rotate. So we're going to bring it to sort of where we want, and then we're going to uh, rotate to the angle that we'd like. So let's try to make it as vertical as possible. That seems pretty good, if I do say so. Um, and we're going to place it right there. Um, so the next thing that you want to do is you want to, once again, go through and uh, try to choose an option that works um, for the best blending mode. So just scroll down until you find one that's uh, that's fitting. And there are some uh, definitely interesting ones. Um, but I think for the purpose of this, I might actually just leave it on uh, on normal and then go ahead and do an overlay on that text later when I go back to do his um, you know his whole channel layout that I'm actually going to do for him. This is just a demo. So you're going to go ahead and apply the transformation and uh, you deselect and so you'll notice that his name is now running down the side of his YouTube banner. And basically you can do whatever you would like on this side even overlapping into the general YouTube area which is this black area remember that's our safe area that's going to be covered by all the YouTube actual content. This over here is just the sides. So we can put pretty much anything we want on this side so let's go to Google Images and let's get a Minecraft block so take for example this Minecraft block actually I'm going to use this Minecraft block because it's a little bit nicer looking I think come back to Photoshop and again, open up a new, every time you paste something into Photoshop, you want to open up a new file. So you can keep track of your files up here and then paste. 
go ahead and uh, use the smart select tool or the uh, the magic wand and delete everything that is black and then control A and control C for select all and copy and then we can go ahead and paste and move this minecraft block to wherever you'd like now keep in mind that when uh, when YouTube sees this your stuff is going to be covering that minecraft block so if uh, if this minecraft block were say on the same layer as this one right here so we're gonna merge visible layers then we can go ahead and cover up the minecraft block the same way the YouTube setup would if we put a gradient over the front of the minecraft block so let's go ahead and make a solid gradient uh, we're gonna use our black to gray again and we're gonna just do it like that so that's how your Minecraft block would appear if you uh, chose to put something hanging into the middle like that. So that was just the uh, the basic way of doing it. So then I'm going to make the, the rest of this visible all again with the text and the actual layout. So there you have it. And you can see that the Minecraft block actually faded kind of a cool way into the, uh, the side here. So that's pretty much going to be my tutorial. The best thing... Um, that you can do basically with with Photoshop and YouTube together is you know to make your nice channel layout and uh, so the last thing you have to do before exporting is just flatten the image right it'll say discard hidden layers yeah because you can't see those and then you're gonna go ahead and save as so you can go to your uh, libraries wherever you save your stuff I'm gonna go to my thumbnails page and I'm going to you want to make sure you scroll down and save it as a JPEG file and then I'm gonna save it as Robert extreme channel and save it as your maximum quality so that's everything you gotta know I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial um, if you like it leave a like and if you haven't subbed to my channel make sure to do so I'll see you guys later peace out